प्लीज कंफर्म माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल और नॉट यस ओके यस सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डीप डाइव इनटू द कोडिंग और स्ट्रक्चर फर्स्ट कोसिक यस आई मीन हु हैज स्टार्टेड द रिकॉर्डिंग यस इट आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड रिकॉर्डिंग इज स्टार्टेड इज रिकॉर्डिंग इज देयर राइट या दैट्स व्हाट आई वांटेड टू नो दैट यू आर द वन हु हैज स्टार्टेड नो हां यस यस आई हैव स्टार्टेड Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. So before going to deep dive into structure, code, all kind of things, we have to gather some knowledge about React and React library. React, who is created the React? Why the uh, we are going to learn React? Yes, right. So uh, those are working in Angular. Can you tell me Angular is framework or library? Lisa, Anuja, if you are working in Angular, so what is the difference between Angular and library? Angular is a framework, and React JS is a library. Yeah, great. Yes. And so we can say that from the library we can create frameworks, right? Library is the community, and library is the past of the framework right we can create many frameworks from the library we cannot create library from framework but we can create framework from library so first of all we have to understand we have to memorize one thing that react is a library for building rich user interface okay and uh, if you consider that react and angular the right now uh, react is very popular and everywhere react js is used okay react usability react react accessibility usability and use case of react is very much famous so that of react now we have to know that uh, facebook has we all know that uh, facebook has created react right but jordan this guy He is a software engineer of Facebook. He has created the first prototype of React JS. Okay. Any questions before that? If I move to the next slide, is there any questions? No. Okay. Um. So, what is our motto? Why we learn React? for uh, creating the code or why the many means and uh, the use case and demand of react because react has a huge community means if you face some problems if you have some use case so we can get instant help from the community and it's a very much popular use case of user library and as well as you can say that use rich user interface we can create okay so from the react there are so many framework we can create react native react paper this is all a react library react framework now uh, we am going to start how we have to install react right these three three or four steps are required to install the react js in your application right react js application hello
so guys can you try for yourself or i i have i just uh, once uh, run the command in my lab uh, system as well as you also try okay is it okay all of you okay sir okay this comment i am sending in the chat and Kausik. Hello. Hello. Yes, right now I'm not uh, able to do this command because yeah, so npm is called the no package I'm manager, just right? That so I'm not able to install npm there, due to some security yes, then. So um, after that I will do. Before the, okay, so have you installed Node.js in your version? Can you check? Yeah, yes, Node I'm trying. But, version. Uh, I'm version. Okay. Latest version. Okay, can you share your screen? Can you share your screen that I can understand where where you are stuck? That might be. It's I can solve your problem. So can you share your screen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I must stop present. Uh, you can share your screen. Now it's visible. Yes, yes, the screen is visible. Now this time you're asking my username. I'm giving my username. No, I think it requires some admin username and password before installing the React in OJS. I don't know what is the admin name and password. So you have to raise a ticket, okay? Okay. You have to raise a ticket uh, for the installing Node.js in your app, in your system, right? Okay, okay. So I think you are not able to do. You just raise a ticket, okay? And uh, it's interrupted means it does it unable to install in your system, okay? Okay. Okay, I will do after this. So Lisa, have you installed React in your system? Yes, sir. So I am planning to do one thing that it's a hands-on type of uh, training I want to conduct. Okay, So that's why I can uh, uh, execute the code in my system. That's not an issue. But I can suggest that everybody try at your end, Okay, this comment. Okay. So this will be my this, this is grateful for you because hands on will be at the same time. Okay. I can discuss, I can send you the comment and you can uh, raise, uh, you can uh, install the ReactJS. Okay. That will be fine, right? Have you installed or is going to install? It's going to install. Okay. Give me it's some time right? after complete. I will inform you. Okay, okay. So, Riza, can you share your screen once again? Yes.
I hope everybody means uh, is going to install right. Lisa, Anuja, both are. Yes, Kaushik, having some issues. No. Having some face some issues. Can you yes. please can you please share your screen and we can just show okay. what's the problem? Uh, hello, sir. Can I stop my uh, screen sharing? Yes, yes, yes. You, you can stop and yes, yes. Then um, um, you can start. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. This is error, NPM error. Color can yes, You can stop. Yes, yes. You can stop. Hello, Lisa. You can stop. Yeah, you already stop it. Getting so, this error. Which, uh, fast, uh, no, no. Fast you so, uh, fast you uh, check. Uh, uh, terminal, and then try to install. Okay. Yeah. Where the where you have created your folder, that is the best place to install. Okay, some command might not work yeah, over yeah. there. So, so try from this ESS. Try from here. I create from one folder React. Yes, yes, yes. In that create I created another ESS. folder. Yes, yes, React. Open it. Uh, first, do one thing. Go to React. Yes, first folder. Yes. React yes, the first folder yes. Remove it. Yes. I don't want to do this thing. Remove that. Okay. Now I think you have to close the close it and the oh. Visual Studio code. Okay. Otherwise, the application yes. is open already. Not. saying try again it's so not is any other place you have opened oh, it yes uh, is it close that close this one and uh, now try now try to delete yeah now yes. yeah now open, go to this comment from over there click the cursor in the reactions in the yes 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 cmd Write CMD, enter. Now paste the command, whatever I sent. Sir. Yes, Lisa. Uh, after put the CD run react command, uh, it hmm. will give me a message. The message is uh, the system cannot be find the path specified. Okay, just a minute. I can uh, go after his after Unuja's uh, problem. Okay, I will track it. Just a minute. Because today it might be possible because every I want that everybody's system React should be installed properly, right? Then one by one, one we can go. Same here is coming. Complete lock of this run can be found in. Can you check the which version is there? Node, node, node version can you check. No. V16. That so can you check the node version? Which version is there? Node. Uh, V16.14.0. Mode, I am asking the APM version. Okay. I think you have problem of 
your six point fourteen point environment variable in environment variable not set. Okay. So do one thing, guys. Uh, I'm sharing my screen also. So if you not installed or any hello, yes. Ha. So if you not if you not in hello, Sabul, have you do you have any problem or have you any query? I'm just saying. Yeah. Can you try to Anuja remove on global in the command? Uh, global Just command is required. Okay. Now, sometime I'm try. I'm facing same issue. No, actually, so I don't know. Uh, one thing that you're uh, roaming the node modules. Okay, the environment variable that should be set inside that uh, in uh, your PC properties. Okay. So some node modules you have to set. This is not there. I think that. So okay, if you not install or is there some problem uh, you can do one thing my skin is visible right this uh, is the place sir yes uh, can you see my uh, see my problem actually i already installed it and uh... okay okay so so your skin share your skin share your skin is that yeah keep me one minute I installed it in the C drive inside user. C drive? Yeah. Yes. After installing, uh, this is uh, run. Uh... One minute. In PM start, start the development server. Now you have to go inside the folder. React app, which folder is there? Na? Uh, create React app. CD, create React app. React app is created, right? Or which command have you started? Have you executed in your system? NPM install minus G create React app, right? Yes, yes. Is done, right? Yes. Now create this command. Uh, run but this the command. This system cannot find the path specified. Use just a minute, minute. No, no. Just write uh, execute this command. Create React app. CD create React app now. This folder is not created inside that. I didn't find it. Ah, CD create react app. Command is not created. You just install your NPM, okay? Okay. Now create React app test. Test means your folder name, whatever folder you can you can share. Okay. Don't go with the test. Write any name instead of test. Yes. Well done. Now it takes some time for installing. This is your folder name my react app okay yeah this also created i already created the taste folder okay so it will create your react app now you after that you can see create my react app is has been created in your system right yeah and i suggest don't create a, the folder or anything inside the c drive okay? okay this is the system drive so it might be possible if you go in the d drive that is okay okay sir and those are not installed don't worry you can go the alternatives okay write that three places right code sandbox tag bridge and repel this is the online react js ide okay those are face some problems still now in the local machine. You can open these URLs in your system. 
and write the code also okay so i am sharing this in the portal in the chat box okay Anybody try to open this link, whatever I said? This is a place. Are you able to see, see my? Screen? No, no, no. Hello? Hello? Uh, are you able to see, no. see Hello. the screen? No, sir. Still, I didn't you know. Six and uh, your voice also breaking. Sometimes. My screen was visible, right? No, vis not visible, sir. Yes, not visible. Okay. So my skin is now it's confirmed. Now it's visible. Uh, this link okay, code sandbox IO. This link I have shared. And this is the online ReactJS React JS ID, not library ID. So you can see the same thing we can get over here, right? Have you tried in your system this thing? Hello. Hello. Abul. Yes. Yes. Uh, have you tried? Have you tried in your system? Yes, sir, I'm trying. I'm click on this link. It's open. Create sandbox. App torches. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, your uh, installation yes. is done. Now go to in uh, this folder. What folder you created, right? Create React yes, yes, your folder name and run npm chart on top of this. CD oh, React oh. run is not necessary to no 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 CD your folder not React run okay okay sir it's I have given because it changed to everybody no? this is not a fix but step you can, you can follow the name naming convention you can give at your right okay CD your whatever folder you have created this name Put it in film font and Saibul, have you uh, open means uh, trying trying to the yes, I'm open it. 
link would send and demo page is showing can i share my screen Yeah. By default, it will be go to 3000 volt. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Now you are able to see my screen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. This is the place you can also run your React JS. This is the online ID, okay? Okay. The same thing. Whatever we can install in your system, the same thing is be happen here. No installation are required, but uh, if you face some problem in your own application. Okay. Okay. So first go to uh, the IT reset uh, ticket and solve the Node.js problem. Okay. That is required. Okay. This is the online okay. ID, but we are going to work in the local environment first. Okay. It's alternative right now. It's yeah. alternative. Yes, yes, alternative and it's uh, I will uh, uh, discuss this part later, but you are not appealing means not and that's why okay. Uh, Hi, Lisa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, React installation is done. Yes. Yes. Okay. I already start uh, this app by the using of npm start command. Okay. It's working, right? Yes. By default, it will be going to localhost three thousand port. Ah, yes, this is the by default port. You can also change that. I can discuss later. This part. But your system is yes, is installed, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do one thing. Just a minute. I'm going to discuss the shadow DOM. Okay. This is very re is required for the React JS. Yes. So, uh, do you have any idea what is shadow DOM? Hello. Yes. Yes, Kaushik, you are audible. Yes, yes. 
so uh, we are going to discuss the shadow dom part first this is called uh, means whenever you create the application react application so up, uh, after installing the react js in your project in your system whenever the browser has been uh, when you got the local host code right in the browser so in react application this is one part this is called the shadow dom means your original uh, means whatever the request is coming from the react js it did, does not uh, is directly uh, not going to the original browser the whatever the views we are showing like the HTML, CSS, this has been routed to the one DOM, middleware. So we can say that, just a minute. Hello, Cody. Your voice yes, is yes. not coming. Just a time. Why not coming? Now? Am I audible? Yes. So this is your React application, right? And this is your browser. Your screen is also not visible. No, no visible, is it? Yeah, yes. Ah. So, uh, this is our React application, right? And this is a browser. The browser, we can see that localhost 3000, right? This uh, port is coming. Yeah. So, whatever command we have right over there, that npm install g react application, after that npm start. So, the request directly it does not. Uh, one minute. So, this is the uh, route. Yes. So from the React application to browser, the bundle of the asset, our routing part, our React, uh, the view HTML, it does not directly go to the browser. Before that, it takes one middle layer that is called the DOM. This is called your shadow DOM. Okay. Every request from the React application, it directly goes to the shadow DOM. It's, it's called about node. You can call it a node. And from the shadow DOM to it goes to the browser. So in the Angular application, if you see the entire web page have, uh, is reloading whenever any changes you are occurring in your page, right? But in the React JS, only single node, whatever node you have changed, this node has been updated and the requests are going to the shadow DOM. And from the shadow DOM, it goes to the browser. In the local host, we can access the our view, right? So in the shadow DOM, uh, is, you, can see, you can say that it's a com combination of some nodes, okay? Like 
node two. This node Okay. So any changes in the react application that is occurred through the node and the all nodes are cumulative part of the shadow dom and from the shadow dom it goes to the browser so directly react application code whatever you change this is no uh, this uh, uh, this the, does not directly go to the browser instead of shadow dom okay so do you have any questions on that part no sir onuja have you understood this concept uh, what is that node and node one and node two? Uh, node one and node two that React is a combination of all nodes. Okay. Whatever the change you have done now in the Angular, the only one node is there. I mean the DOM. Whatever the change is there, the Angular entire application has been reloaded. But in the React JS, the view, you can see some functions, you can see some uh, reloading methods that are a combination of some nodes so inside the node all the changes have been occurred okay means you have write some name right h1 this name after inside the application right so whatever the change you have done it direct directly not respond not showing that everything not showing in the browser it first go to the shadow of it's called you can say the manager type okay means uh, in the managers there are some team members are there right so shadow dom angular is a single page application so single page, you know, that that's why it uh, can follow a single dom a and single, it's directly no, go sing, to... dom is one dom is one everywhere yes, dom is dom is one means whatever you you are you are showing in the browser so in the application this is a dom dom is a document object model okay yes this yes. is this is a combination of some nodes these nodes you can say that HTML, H1 tag, H2 tag, D header tag, body tag, these all called nodes. Okay. These nodes in the Angular application and the React, this is the difference. React is very fast from the Angular. Because enter change, whatever you change in the Angular, the whole changes is reloading in the browser. Okay, and then it will show inside the browser, right? Yes. But in the React. It's direct, it's direct the request, whatever the request I am creating that I'm sending some request, I'm creating some changes in this the application that it does not go to the browser directly. Intermediary part of the shadow DOM between the React application and the browser. Okay. So inside the shadow DOM, it gets all the requests. After that, it will create one HTML part of the view and it will redirect to the browser. Is it okay, Anuja? Have you understood this part? Yes, now it's okay. Okay, and Saibul? Yes. Do you have any yes. questions on, on this part? No, it's clear. Okay. Now, is it uh, one minute? Uh -huh component structure okay inside the application how your uh, mean any website is uh, divided in some high level structure right header main content footer side map this is a app, this is a high level structure of any web page web application you can say right and in the react everything is uh, you can say it's called a combination of some components header is a component footer is a component, side nav is a component, the high level component architecture this is, right? So if we are creating an web page, it requires header, footer, side nav and main content. These four parts, right? 
and inside this part we are creating writing some logics like header we have added some logos we have added some navigation in the footer we are writing the copyright part right in the side nav the navigation part is there so we uh, what the basically basically what we are doing in the from the html from the html file enter web page is there it means if you if if i can say that if you have to convert your uh, html file to angular what we will do first you tell uh, me in the angular if you if you convert your normal design ux design to the angular what step you have done hello is that anyone can tell hello am i audible to you hello yes hello ah yes so if one design html design we have to convert okay from html to angular so what step you will take by the using of angular material we can design this web page no first you have to divided the in the enter with html into some parts right yes like it has put our site map uh, right uh, right side uh, uh, so panel. why why you are doing this part because this is because if, uh, i want to use header footer site uh, map you know this is obviously the header part footer part you can use but enter angular or react this is a combination of the components remember this term components yes, okay yes yes sir so components means reusability means if i will create normal application right i have one normal html5 application this is five pages home about blog contact us so every time if is a normal application what you will do the same page you have to copy it again and again right for the creating the about us page yes sir uh, otherwise uh, i can import this uh, no normal application not forget about the react angular before introducing the react and angular what we have done we have created the one application one page the five, the five uh, different static page with uh, the five, same five page. different page only main content will be updated but yes yes apart from the header footer all are same we have to copy it from one application to another I mean one html to another html right index.html head about us.html contact us.html three html pages there so only main content is updated new new thing in the means of the main component right but in the into after introducing react and angular the new method or you can say the new tricks this is a component it's a reusable you can reuse these components you can use as a component this part header is a component so what what you will do only header tags like logos some uh, text you have to set in the header.js file or header.ts file right in the footer also the same thing and whatever we can use in the there are might be it 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 has been we are designed to that uh, there are 100 pages or 200 pages website so it can be manageable if you create component you can manage only header you have to import and the header you have to export after exporting you have to import this header everywhere okay so this is the benefits of a component based application so react and angular both are component based application where we have to execute our comments only one we have create the our logic only one time and we have to use it again and again for a reusability purpose okay okay sir okay. and remember one thing every projects like angular or react this is one entry point file right entry page in yes. angular what is the name of the entry page main.ts yes main.ts this is the entry page 
means whatever request we are executing right from the command lines from the npm the command npm create some component npm start in ng sub so it will inter, uh, internally uh, linked with the main.ts the same thing in the react this is called the nt point js is app.js okay okay sir So component structure, have you understood? Do you have any problem still now or any questions? Any queries? No, sir. No. Abul? Hello? Abul? Yes. Uh, do you have any questions, queries? No, no. In last session, in last uh, yes. slide, no? Yes, it's no, last no. slide. Means yeah. during uh, up to whatever I discussed, there is no question, right? Yes. Now, yes. this component. So you have to know the component is divided in React mainly two types. This is called one state -led component, another is stateful component. Stateful component means class-based component, right? And stateless component means function component. Whatever the function you are right in the normal JavaScript, this is you can say that normal function. Create the function, set some name, and then return the file. Return return it. So it will be executed as a export state um, JavaScript. Uh, this like you can see my screen right. In the function welcome, I have created right. In the screen so function welcome welcome is a uh, one method the, this is called the udf user defined method two type of method is every sdl life cycle software development life, life cycle one is user defined another is native so whatever function we have created so this is called the user defined function and uh, anybody tell me what is the native function any example of native function what in the angular you have used that so what is the native function of angular any native function name can anybody tell anybody can ask no hello yes so uh, have you any idea means uh, can you tell me what is the native function of angular you have used right angular like uh, okay i'm explaining In the angle, like you can say that render, return, or your angular ng on it. This is this function you only used, not write inside the function, right? You are only using this function. So ng on in it, this is a method that is declared and predefined from the angular side, not your yeah. own own you have not written this one right you just use but the same way in the react some uh, functions are called native like render in the screen you can see the render function this is native we are just using and uh, what is stateful component stateful component means a class based component so we can say our component is divided into two parts one is stateless, another is stateful. Stateless component means normal JavaScript function. We can execute, we can write, and we can export and import the same thing as a function. Everything is there inside the function. 
and another is stateful component, stateful class, means class based. And here we are writing this way class welcome extend react dot component. That means welcome is a class name. In simple Hello? word, we can say that. In simple word, we can say that a stateless functional component means creating by the function user. And a stateful, we can say that it's a providing by the uh, no, 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 react. No, 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 no. The I uh, stateful means class based component. This is you have this is you have to also create, but there is uh, the render function is there, return function is there, but the main difference of the stateful and stateless component is stateful component. Uh, you can use some object oriented programming like oops concept right okay some okay. class is there not user defined or native okay, inside okay. that inside that class you can also create your own function okay yes 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 this is the oops concept like uh i can create two classes okay class a class b hmm. so from this class we have to create one object class c we can create right new objects yes. inside the new object we can expect the properties and methods from class a and class b can be inherited right class yes. a we can we can add some properties we can add some methods and in the class b we can also add some methods now from this class two classes I want to uh, create. Sir, I yes. have a question. Yes, yes. Stateful components. Yes. yes. Uh, we cannot use any kind of native function inside that. Yes, obviously you can create. You can use. You can create your native function inside the class-based component, stateful component. Okay. Sir. Like you have one button. Okay. One use case. Today I am not going to execute any code because this concept is required for understanding your. React application or any SDLC software, let's say how it is work, right? So, in the button you have, right? Inside the button, you can create, you can click, and it will show one alert. So, how will create? You have to create one function, right? Alert function. Alert is a JavaScript own function, but you require some attach event listener. This event listener, how you can attach? without writing or without attach any native function how you can create it's not possible right you have to create one native function for that like button on click on click is a event listener right and inside the on click you have to add some event name like i want to show some console log i i want to hold uh, get some value of the button text so how we have to create button click on click is a function this is a native this is on click is the event listener and inside the event listener for me i can use on slide and understand then i can show you So this is my button, right? And this is my React class. 
means this class is executed internally with the DOM. Inside the React class, this is a class base. We can create one functional component also and the class base component. Inside the class, we grab, we have some variables, right? One. Just a minute. So you can tell me without executing any method, how you can grab this value? Is it possible to get the value when I create the button? Button key. Anybody? Hello. Can you repeat the question? I'm asking, this is your create class, right? This box, this okay. container is a class. Inside the mm -hmm. class, you have one variable A. Simple. Variable A, it has some value hello. You have one button inside the class, right? Okay. So I my expectation that you, when I click the button, inside the alert or console log, I want to get the value. He can pass a on click event as argument. Uh, on click event. On click on okay. click is an event. But inside yes. the on click event, you have to add some code, right? You have yes. to add some code to like uh, to get to uh, to reset this type of code. You you, you have to uh, so this code where you have to call through one method your native method right yes. this method is your own method there is the user defined method not yes. that react has given to us this own method and rain this is our own method right udf method grab value method name grab value Okay, so whenever I attach the method with this event on click and after that we can get this value. So we can save inside the class based component or functional component, we can use our own method. So you can see nowadays, screen, right? uh, yes. No, my question is nowadays, yes. uh, which pattern we follow functional based component or either class based component? Functional based component and class based component, which which uh, component you can follow, right? So, yes, which this is depends on yes. your projects, this is depends on the put uh, your uh, project requirement and code requirement, okay. Right, generally, I prefer class-based component. We can discuss this thing slow, uh, uh, from today. I have the introduction, all the thing. This part of discuss in the uh, that I prefer class-based component always because in the class-based component, you can get some constructor method, some uh, your properties some constructors, some life cycles that is missing in the functional component. Okay. okay. So I am not saying that in the functional component, your requirement will not be fulfilled. But if you follow the OOPS concept, then class-based component is required. Okay. In the functional component, you can create hooks, not in the hooks also given to you all the necessary part okay whatever you use in the class based component but i prefer always your class based component where i can follow the oops architecture pattern okay and in the business to business the dependencies and you can say that requirement is changed 
in the scalable project we can i prefer always class based component in the scalable project we can say that today i have two components right tomorrow i require five more components so how you can manage you have to create some reusability over there right hello yes yes sir yeah so you can see that uh, this is a example of function component it's simple normal function we have create and export default export de first we have to add import react from react react is a library and this i have we have to call import react from react after that create one function this function you can provide any name not an issue your name whatever name you can add and our expectation from this function is return some value h1 inside the h1 i have add some value this value we can view inside the browser inside the application right so whatever the js we have create this i have to export export default grid that means only one export is possible from this application okay you have you have create multiple function multiple export not possible if you write export default default means by default which name means if you have two functions you have created right whatever function name you have add after default this function will be passed from the means you can import this function that is i i, I, I can say the same way and this is the class based component same thing we have write import react component component uh, right extend extend component that means whatever the properties method are written inside the component we can inherit from the component to our class right the welcome is our class we can extend we can extend and we can implement two keywords are there so right now we are going to extend extend our component inside the extend component we can render render this method it's a method what react has provided to us we are not creating render one render means whatever you have create inside the class the same thing you have to if you require to execute that time render method is required okay inside the render you have to return some same thing h1 means one header tag inside the header tag you some class name is add inside the and then we can export till now any confusion any questions any queries hello no no i have okay, a so, question yes yes ask like in angular we have a selector yes. okay yes. and and app component we can define at selector yes. so those are view are show inside the some like div some yeah. container so here yeah. same way we can do it we can do no selector is not there here selector no, actually is the question is question. by the selector we can uh, do the cross communication in angular have you this kind of facilities in react no 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 no, no. he asked me he asked me i just understand that inside in the angular application inside the ts file one selector is there app selector right this selector yes. whatever wherever you call this view you can get right yes yes like a one one div is a container okay few minutes ago you show header footer section uh, nav bar side nav bar and in angular in in angular we we create a separate file we create a separate file every yes, every class yes separate file separate component and these separate component are uh, is yes. four four files one right? page one html file call one all those file. class in one one component right yes so same yes, way yes. we can so here that. so no say here we have some js js and ts this is our component okay you can add whatever uh, the next part the next part is that 
inside the class this component you can add your javascript as well as your html so this is a call this is called jsx javascript this one ja jsx okay javascript and xml this is a combination inside the react application okay there is no other, any other selector method your selector is your class welcome this is your class inside the welcome class you have uh, you can write your own javascript as well as html view okay jsx is used for templating okay for the angular you use in the templating ts file right in the ts file you have create some class and inside the class you have defined some methods some functions some properties okay but in the react there this same thing you can execute through the jsx jsx means javascript and xml jsx allows us to write html inside the react so there is no separate uh, html file okay no Hello? i'm creating one page like a like a main container okay main container and i want to call i want to call inside this page like already page 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 already page created like uh, like a home component yes. like a this side is your class, no? this is your class state this is your either you can create functional either you can create class based stateful or stateless okay so okay. how to and how this to... this is your markup this is your markup welcome is your markup okay html markup you understand means you asking that what is my markup how to add this welcome text inside the view right yes so this is your markup whenever you add well the same that the, this thing i will uh, uh, demonstrate tomorrow okay how we can add but welcome is your markup this welcome tag you have to import wherever you can so, so. and then okay. as per this as per this way you can uh, one minute huh? okay uh, uh, so it, yes, it, yes, it, yes it, it, it will call this is your Kaushik, question right uh, and the yes and just a reminder we are shooting the time okay, okay. Nice. just just to be nice just completed this thing only one question he has asked sure 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 this i mean if we can wrap it oh, up understood, understood. Just a yeah yeah so sir so, this is your question right welcome welcome is your yes. tag this is also your class this is that's why i'm telling this is jsx combination javascript okay. and xml combination okay. this way you can tag this a markup okay I hope your all questions and everything is done. Yes. Is yes. there any questions is till now? Whatever we have discussed today. Now my 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 all Hello. questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so today we can wrap up the session, okay? And tomorrow we can uh, join. So I'm uh, stop my presentation. And uh, Onuja and Saiful, I can suggest that if you uh, create some tickets, okay, for your Angular uh, React application in your system, that will be okay. Before tomorrow's session, you can do that. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. So that's why today I'm not going to add any uh, lab functionality. So whenever okay. you have done, then we can start. Okay. 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 Okay, Priya, I guess we have done this one. Okay, thank you. Yes, before you all thank leave, you. Uh, please, all three of you need to fill in the feedback form I have already provided. Please kindly fill it right away. Once you okay. once you are done, please notify me and only then shall I end the call. So, so I must stop my recording, right? Not yeah? the form on, the, uh, the recording. on the mail. But safe. Anuja, Lisa, please stay back. First, fill in the feedback form and then leave the meet. Okay.